hello investors hopefully you are having a very good time and today as you can see on my screen i have opened the spreadsheet but not for any stock valuation but to show you how we can simply create our uh, portfolio uh, and track it using the google spreadsheet the beauty of this spread google spreadsheet is it's take the price uh, the accurate prices and once we just set it up we can immediately know once we open the spreadsheet what's our total portfolio value whether we are making any gain or loss and what is our portfolio uh, percentage right so if you want to see how uh, this simple uh, and very uh, powerful uh, spreadsheet how to create feel free to uh, stay and then i'm showing you step by steps okay so without further delay let's uh, get started okay so let me create a new so in order to do that i will creating a new tab or maybe i should be creating a new new spreadsheet just in case this is for my reference okay so this is youtube portfolio okay so let's uh, do and first we select some random ticker right which we want to be in our portfolio okay so these tickers are what i have picked up is intc which is intel google at&t which ticker name is t facebook and walmart this is not this is just randomly ticker i have picked i have did a stock valuation on these ticker using the models so let's pick some quantity just for the theory perspective let's say we have uh, by 10 share of these five of these 10 share of uh, AT&T five of Facebook and 10 of Walmart right let's just put the purchase price so the purchase price when you bought this what's the price you get okay so just bought it there put it there so if I put it here I'll simply just copy some random so just I put it just some random price here right okay these are my purchase price okay to get the total cost now right so which is simple which is a per stock cost so I'll take the quantity and multiply by the share price okay oops what's the problem okay i by mistake pick up d6 let's pick d7 okay so this is my cost and maybe i'll make it a little bit So 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 far I think it's very straightforward nothing uh, fancy about this portfolio so pretty much we have you will always have these kind of information right so I can make it a little bit bigger right so easy for to for to you see now let's say what's the price now right that's the only thing we need it and so in the google we have this called google finance okay so this google finance the beauty of this google finance is it will give you the direct uh, that that price right so if i use this ticker because it's used the ticker and pretty much that's it and i don't need anything else and oh sorry i need to give what i needed right then i needed the price information 
and if I close the bracket and enter and you can see it gives me the price and it's just like Excel I simply drag it up okay so if I drag let's put this in a dollar so it's a little bit nicer okay so this is what my price now this is what I have cost so what next thing we need to know of course if I have the price now we or then I can say okay what is my uh, the total uh, gain right or loss I can easily compute so okay so the next is what we so next is what we needed is the total gross gain and loss I I'm just trying to see if I am not blocking uh, the view right so that's very important to to know that so probably I'll move it here okay so the total not the total just the gain or loss right it's nothing but the the price now minus the price before right times the the quantity right so this is this give me the total uh, profit and loss okay so the next one what we needed is we need the uh, the gross how much gain or loss by percentage right this is on the percentage side okay so this is the uh, dollar amount right and this is the 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 percentage we needed so for the gain or loss so it's very simple so whatever we have profit or loss on divide by the divide by the cost right and if I just put the enter and just drag it again okay so where is the percentage sign here okay this one okay and so this is my gain and loss next column is portfolio value so now I have my gain or loss I have my total cost it's very simple to calculate the portfolio value if I want to know what is my dollar amount of the portfolio is no brainer than whatever is my cost plus any gain or loss on top of it right if I enter it that's my portfolio value I'm trying to uh, give a very uh, intuitive way of uh, building this so you're not only just simply following it to do the spreadsheet but at least uh, it makes sense as well so there are some other formulas ways we can calculate but I think this is most a common sense way and now sim again I need to know what's my portfolio weight on each stock basis okay so to do that I simply need to do the portfolio weight right so what is my portfolio weight on each right so I have to take the individual stock divide by okay so for that I need a sum okay so I'll take a sum before this is my total portfolio value okay now I need to know what's my portfolio weight or dollar value against the total right so that's what I'm trying to achieve here so which will this is my portfolio so this divide by this and I just press F4 
luckily the same keys which is used in the Excel is used here. It's the later in the time, so I thought just have some some drink as well. So okay, so this is my portfolio percentage. Okay, yeah, it's pretty smart actually. You see, I changed this one. The sum is already changed. Okay, so now I have everything. Right. So the next thing is I just need to. Uh, so I have the gain or loss. I have the uh, gain or loss percentage. The next is, okay, I just want to see very bigger. What's my total portfolio value, right? So if I can simply say equal, and this is my total portfolio value, right? And then I just increase the font little bit, right? So when I come, I just see this big number. So this is my total portfolio value. So this is uh, 24, I don't know how much. So let's do this 14. And then I'll just change this color as well. And then gain or loss. Okay, so again, the same thing, I have to make a sum of total gain or loss which is coming as this so okay so this one as well so simply i use the this is the for paint formatter i put it here but I, rather than blue i like to see green same thing i just put it here okay so this is the one okay so let's give some structure to this table okay where is it okay this one i'm still not heavy only for the few things i'll use this basically it's very beautiful uh, very smart tool but it takes a lot of uh, uh, memory right so that's what i don't like about it but otherwise it's great and like these kind of things you don't have to go open your account or phone app you have the computer on and just good to go okay so now i have this let me Okay, so let's see now to add the charts to the to the portfolio. So to do that, simply basically just select this data range and then we can insert the chart. So I clicked here and Google Sheet is smart enough to let me know what I need. Basically, it gives me some basic uh things what uh i should be looking <coughs> so this is not a bad chart this is a column chart but i don't want to see all this so this chart i will modify basically i only see my cost my profit or loss or my portfolio value now right so that should be okay so that's why when i come here so i'll just remove the quantity purchase price okay okay i need the total cost so i leave it as it is and remove okay i need the dollar value of gross but i don't need percentage and i also remove the portfolio weight okay so these things so now we can easily see with the for the example for the intel how much and you can play around this right so we can see okay this is the total cost in blue we have the total gain and loss in red and yellow is the total portfolio value. So cost, profit and loss and the portfolio value. So we can see, okay, Google is driving more, but for sure it has more cost as well, right? So that need to be, rather than on the, I like to see on the dollar side, maybe you want to see on the percentage side, so feel free to switch it around, okay? So one thing also we can, we can also add another charts that's not a big so if i do this insert chart it's trying to give me same so let's say this time i remove 
this one right you can select some other oops so i'll select remove the quantity purchase price uh, so let's say i just want to do the portfolio weight right and now if i switch it look at this 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 is so smart that's what i actually are listening i like about it so if i select this one it immediately gives me and this is gone as well right if i click here and you can click edit this this will come back um you see so i have this portfolio weight chart right so it's telling me exactly that i have 67 percent weight on my portfolio i was not planning to show on the chart just want to highlight but that's so pretty much uh, just a tip that for show any balanced portfolio we won't want skewed toward one because what if this uh, this percentage is down right then the whole portfolio is down okay so if i'll so the the one originally which i want to show let me add that as well so if i select this one insert a chart and then i just want to add the percentages so remove 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 right so this is the uh, gain or loss percentage or portfolio percentage so this is another chart i can add below here right So you can see uh, as many view of this uh, if you want you can add it so it's clearly see that google is bringing has a more portfolio weight but at the same time it's not bringing the same amount of dollar value so we can easily see what's the who's the winner here so pretty much the t right t is only 2.6 percent of the portfolio weight but it's bringing more than 40 percent of 43 percent of the uh, of the profit and same thing with uh, and the next bigger uh, that is the intel right intel is also doing 29 percent of it's all depend when you get in and all so not only always the you think this uh, heavy stocks okay so that's why we always believe as a as a value investor that we should go for the value and uh, buy from uh, from the low so anyway the motive is not to give uh, any advice on the port uh, any advice on the buying as, as selling but to simply see how easy it is to set up this portfolio if you like this video and you want me to cover more on the google spreadsheet side because google spreadsheet has a lot of other function as well especially on the google finance uh, and you want me to cover please put in the comments and definitely like this uh, video really give that smash that uh, thumbs up button okay so see you soon in next video bye for now